Spinach Strings from Funk Soul Productions is a virtual instrument for Contact 5. Designed to emulate the classic string section sounds of R&B, soul, and funk records from the 1960s and 1970s. Whether you're an experienced arranger or not, Finish Strings was designed to make it quick and easy for you to create great sounding string tracks for your productions. Like its sister product, Vintage Horns, Finish Strings was not designed to be a shiny, perfect sounding virtual instrument. Instead, we tried to capture the way string sections sounded back in the 60s and 70s. For the Vintage Strings virtual instrument, we recorded a six piece violin section using Vintage Neumann U87 mics and Royal Ribbon mics, run through a great sounding old SSL board. Rather than record the violins in a large concert hall, we recorded our players in a funky old studio with a smaller, less reverberant room. From these recordings, we then created three types of string sections. Two violin patches, which are useful for creating the sound of a smaller string section, such as those used on a lot of old soul and R&B records. Six violin patches, which are great for recording unison lines that emulate the sound of a true six violin section, which was very commonly used in many old soul recordings. When used for two-part harmonies or octaves, these patches can be used to replicate the sound of an overdubbed six violin section, a common recording technique used in many Motown recording sessions. Twelve violin patches, which are great for creating unison string lines that sound like an overdubbed six violin section. You can also use these patches for string parts in two or three part harmonies if you want to get a bigger string section sound without the color and character that you'd get in a large recording hall or symphonic space. The result is a virtual instrument that has a sound and character distinctly different from orchestral-based sample string libraries. The sound of vintage strings is intentionally not big, rich, and glossy. It's a smaller, more intimate, and more human sound, which more accurately emulates the string sound on those classic old records. The vintage strings graphical user interface is very simple and easy to use. On the main page, you'll find the following controls. The EQ knob can be used to increase or decrease the high end. The tape saturation knob can be used to add tape style saturation and compression. The reverb knob controls the amount of convolution reverb added. Select is a drop down menu that allows you to choose from a selection of high quality convolution reverbs chosen to replicate a number of recording spaces and effects commonly heard on vintage R&B and soul records. The articulation window shows what articulation you're currently playing, such as sustain, pizzicato, etc. In the lower left hand corner are two tabs. The main page tab returns you to the front page of the GUI. The harmonize tab takes you to the harmonize page. This page is used for interval and chord based patches. At the bottom of the contact rack is a virtual keyboard with several different colored keys as follows. Blue keys indicate the range of the articulation that you've selected to play. Red keys are key switches that are used to change from one articulation to another. Green keys are used to change the inversion of harmonized chord patches. Vintage Strings includes a selection of the most commonly used articulations found in vintage soul and R&B records. C1 is the default setting, used for sustained or long notes. C sharp 1 is used to select staccato. D1 is used to select tremolo. D sharp 1 is for pizzicato. E1 is for harmonics. F1 is for swells. And F sharp 1 is for falloffs. The 6 violin and 12 violin patches also include runs, which can be found on the following keys. G1 is for major runs down. G sharp one major runs up. A one is for minor runs down. And A sharp one is for minor runs up. If you want to add some harmonic variety to your harmonized string parts, you can use the green key switches to change the position of the notes in a chord from root position to first, second, or third inversion. For example, F zero is the default setting, which is root position one, three, five chords. And G zero would be used for the first inversion chords. On the harmonize page, you'll find a second set of controls. If you want to create your own customized harmonic parts, you can do so from this page. Here you'll find knobs to control what chord tone you want to use for up to five different notes, the octave you want each note to play in, the key you want to play in, and the scale. If you don't have a lot of experience writing for strings, or even if you're an experienced string arranger on a tight deadline, Vintage Strings also offers a number of pre-programmed instrument patches that can help you quickly create great sounding string parts. These include tonal harmonization patches. This category includes two-part, three-part, and four-part tonal harmonization patches for two, six, and 12 violins. Playing with just one finger on your keyboard, you can easily create string lines in two, three, or four parts. Just choose the key you want to play in and whether the key is major or minor. Contact's intelligent harmonization function does the rest, automatically changing the type of chord played based on your choices. 
and also very conveniently preventing you from playing any notes that aren't in the correct key. Fixed chord and interval patches. This category includes two-part, three-part, and four-part chord patches for two, six, and twelve violins. These patches are programmed to play a specific interval or chord according to the type of patch in twelve different keys. These patches don't use the intelligent harmonization capabilities of tonal patches. They simply play the type of chord or interval indicated in the patch name, such as major seventh, minor seventh, major thirds, etc. So that's a brief introduction to vintage strings. To listen to audio demos or to get more information on this product, visit the Vintage Strings product page at BigFishAudio.com.